Hey guys, Tal back again. Here to talk to you about more awesome gaming news. Um, I wasn't originally going to say anything about this, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, I was originally just going to pass this article over, and you know, it's like, you know what? I'm going to make a little video about this because uh, I'd like to hear people's opinions. But um, Microsoft, as some people know, have purchased bunch of the studios uh, so they can have more exclusives for their Xbox Scarlet. Uh, personally I think it's a good move um, but uh, what I find interesting is that uh, Sony apparently is feeling a little nervous because they've gone on to say uh, possibly look to acquire more studios. Now I find this interesting because uh, Sony already has a bunch of first party exclusives. I mean, I'm thinking off the top of my head like Uncharted, God of War, uh, one of those exclusive Spider Man game that I loved. Um, so, that, I mean, that could turn into a series. Uh, Uncharted, if I didn't mention that, God of War, Last of Us, uh, Days Gone, which I'm playing right now and I absolutely love. Um, so it's interesting to see that you know people are quick to be like, oh, you know, Sony's the big dog. You know, you know, they don't gotta worry. Sony, you know, Sony's kicking ass. I mean, how many consoles they sell? They don't, you know, they don't need to be at E3. They're good. They're fine. And I'm like, oh well, you know, hey, let's not forget that the uh, 360 was number one. You know, I mean, that was just last last generation. Everybody wants to, uh, you know, quick to be like, uh, you know, and I say number one here in state size, obviously. It's actually the Wii uh, <laughs> worldwide, but um, the point is, you know, everyone's quick to be like, hey, you know, we're good. We don't got to worry. And there's a lot of truth to that. But I mean, if Sony's, you know, thinking about it, it obviously means they're getting a little nervous. Um, you know, Microsoft needs more I think they need more exclusives anyway. I'm trying to think off the top of my head of uh, how many they have. Uh, I know about Forza, Halo, um, and, and anything with the Halo War, I guess anything with those universes. Um, there's a couple more, but I don't think they have a lot of exclusives. So, personally, doing this would be a uh, smart idea. Um, but, uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's interesting to see because, like I said, if people are so, you know, oh, Sony has nothing to worry about. Well, apparently they do, and they should. But uh, you know, but uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that weed whacker outside of this. I don't know what's going on. But uh, anyway. Um, it's inter it'll be interesting to see what happens, what plays out. Uh, I'm looking forward to Microsoft having uh, first-party titles. Like I said, uh, I haven't said it already. Uh, I love my the controller for Xbox. Uh, I guess noticeably it's basic, but it's it's great for shooters, certain platformers, and action games. So I mean, it's a great controller. That's why. It'd be interesting to see more awesome games, more incentive to buy an Xbox. But once again, I mean, Phil Spencer is, I believe, learning from his mistakes, or he's taking advice from other people to you know, try to make Microsoft a standout console. And, um, you know, why some people would really think that this is a negative. There's not really anything for you to lose. I mean, to think about it, it's just better competition. You know, if you're a fanboy of either, uh, you'll have more exclusives if you're an Xbox fanboy, and even more better reasons to get a PlayStation if you're a Sony fanboy. I mean, there are, there are already PlayStation's doing as great as it is. Already has all the exclusives, or a lot of exclusives, and it'll just. Uh, to compete with Microsoft, it'll just have more. It'll just be more competitive. You know, any market where the uh, 
one where companies are allowed to be competitive. Mm -hmm. can, people, you know, we we we're the ones who get the the benefit of it. So, anyway, um, this is uh, Al signing off. Uh, I should probably say that I shouldn't sign off. I should probably say wait, comment, and subscribe. I haven't got any comments. I'd really like to. That's that's what I'm really looking for, honestly. But um, but wait, comment, subscribe on the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on on this. You know, I don't care what what you really are. Um, but um, um, I don't particularly actually. To be honest, I don't particularly like fanboys, but you know, it'd be cool just to hear people say they're looking forward to certain things or whatnot. Just as long as you're respectful. Uh, I don't see an issue with it, but. Uh, happy Fourth of July! Um, I um, you probably don't live anywhere near me, but I look forward to hearing various people look at fire, firing uh, fireworks off tonight. I'm surprised. I, I guess it's usually a nighttime thing, but uh, um, all right. Now this is Al signing off again. Uh, have a nice day and have a nice Fourth of July. And stay, please, uh, stay safe. Hopefully you have fun with your families if some people are having family picnics. Uh, and again, rate, comment, and subscribe. And good day.